Hey, it's Marshall Atkinson, and welcome to another edition of the best t-shirt I ever printed. And with me today is the always awesome Mike Chong with Merch Monster. How are you doing today, Mike? Doing great. Thanks for having me. No problem. So I'll, I'm very interested in the story behind your favorite t-shirt that you ever printed. So let's hear it. Yeah. Okay. So I focus a lot on speed and being able to deliver faster. The reason I focus on that is because you can charge a premium for moving faster. So I designed my entire ecosystem to be fast, like to get the art from art to proof to production on screens as quickly as possible, right? Because a lot of people move slow. And so the way we do that is by one, by implementing technology in a lot of places. So like using tools like Printavo um, to upload the art using Dropbox to have everything in the cloud, you know, because I'm not co-located with everyone that I'm working with all the time. Like right now I work from home. Uh, my artist works from Mexico, you know what I mean? But even though we're not all right next to each other because of the tools and the systems that we use, we can still move everything a lot faster than a lot of other places that maybe even that are sitting right next to each other. Um, in addition to that, like on the print side, um, when I was still running my shop, you know, we put in a CTS, we put a computer right next to the CTS so we could drop that file straight from Mexico right on a CTS um, in, in seconds, right? And all of that stuff allows you to move really, really quickly. And again, like being able to move fast and be willing to respond and work at the speed that the customers want to work at will make you more money essentially, right? And so we, like Merch Monster does a lot of jobs under 10 days, a lot of, a lot of like one to five day jobs. Um, and pe- like I said, again, people are willing to pay a premium. If they have a business need that they need to do it, they're going to pay you extra to do it. Um, I don't, Actually, I don't remember who exactly who this customer was. I just remember the story of what happened. It was like some soccer team or something like that, some sports team. They came to us and they wanted to do it, but they didn't do it right away. And then day of their thing, um, they're like in town from somewhere. They're like, okay, well, now we need to do it. We're going to drop everything off at 12. And can you have this printed for us by like three o'clock in the afternoon? And it was like a print on the front with numbers on the back. And uh, a whole bunch of other, there's like a couple different designs, you know? And um, I was like, I think we can do it. (laughs) If you're willing to pay me to do it in three hours, sure. Um, I'm pretty sure we can do it. Like we didn't have any of the logos separated. We didn't have any of the numbers cut. Um, So they came in, they gave me some money. Uh, I got all the art from them. I sent it all to my my lady in Mexico, Um, gave her the rundown. Like, this is what we're doing. I don't think we did a proof for this because that would have been ridiculous. But um, I think there was like some mock-ups that we got. Sent it out to her. She put it back on the Dropbox. Um, had all, cut all like put wrote the numbers down from Dropbox. Cut all the numbers on the plotter. Final cutter thing. Sent all the steps into um into what you call it into the I image, right? All that like getting it to her and getting it back up and getting it down again. Maybe like an hour at the most for her to like step it and lay out all the numbers. Threw it into the I image spit some screens out, throw them into the rinse out, um, let dry them under some fans. The Greg Fitzson Kitson has a really awesome design for this like fan rack. If you don't know about that, like go seek out Greg and get him and send you a picture of his fan rack because that'll dry your screens a lot faster. Like another example of just being fast. And uh, so we threw them in that fan rack, man, that fan rack is great. Like it dries fan screens hella fast. Um, you know, just go over, slap them in the press, Boom, 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 boom. Uh, try lock them in. Try lock also faster, right? Um, slap them in. Spit them out, right? Three hours later, you got you know three brand new designs for this guy that came in the last minute, and like that's just one of like a zillion examples of us spitting stuff out. Every you know, I try not to do that craziness every all the time, or like, like we don't do that a lot anymore. But like if somebody came to me and they wanted to do it today and they were willing to pay we can make it happen insofar as like the biggest challenge for me would actually be just getting a blank t-shirt to print it on. But we actually have a, uh, like a wholesaler in, in my town called apparel source and they're awesome to buy from apparel source, a uh, good place to get AS color, which not everybody carries way cheaper than AS color. Um, also good resource for like American apparel and some other, a couple other things. Um, and there are just awesome people actually to work with. 
Uh, your, your favorite story is all about that last minute, crazy, urgent need and how you fulfilled it. But for me, it's not crazy, right? For me, it's like, I just have to move a little bit faster than I normally need to move, but it's still just easy. Like, it's just like riding a bike. We're just gonna ride our bike a little faster. Like a lot of places, I feel like they freak out when you ask them to move like a little bit faster than normal because they're just not used to, to working like that, right? Or like, I don't know, you might have a better insight because you see more places than I do, but like, I feel like so a lot of people are like hesitant to move that faster. Maybe they're not, they don't, haven't designed their, systems to work like that but me it's just like you just send well the, the trick is if you've got normal and you might have an expedited track and so you could do use color codes uh the shops that i've run we use a uh dollar sign in the po field which anybody can add and then all you have to do is run a dollar sign report to see what are the crazy rush jobs that we have today do today and then every single department checks that three or four times a day. And then without even telling anyone, everybody knows what to work on next first because they're running that dollar sign report. And that's going to be created first, received first, purchased first, burned on the screens first, set up first, everything because everybody's trained the right way. Yep. Um, we over here do like a project management meeting every day. And every day we're going through the queue of every single job and tracking like where the inbound stuff is, right? Because I'm not necessarily like even sitting in the shop anymore. So we track all the tracking numbers in, making sure the packages aren't lost or when they're gonna be delivered. We're communicating that back to whoever's decorating them. Um, and then we're actually following up with the decorators too and ensuring that they've counted them in and that everything is cool. But like if I was running my shop, I would do it the sa exact same way, you know, where we're checking everything in. I'm checking with the receiving guys who make sure that they, they checked everything in or it's in my status system if it's all internal, you know. Um, and like even though a lot of our jobs are faster, like because we have all this visibility on where the inbound stuff is and also making sure that like, when POs are sent out and everything is like checking back with the decorators to make sure like we sent you this PO, everything is cool on this PO, no questions, art's good. Okay, punch it out. Like, but we already sent it over typically in a space that's, that should not have a lot of questions. Like we don't send bad art. We don't send low res art or non-vector art. We don't send work orders that lack information or don't have customer shipping, but we're still always like following up. And that makes being able to move really fast easier. Well, the, the reason you can move fast is that you standardize your process where you handle each individual task the same way with the same process even every time, even though some of the information points in the data may be different. You're, what you're doing is you're creating the process so we're working with it the same way every time. So if there's an anomaly, people can react to it, correct? Exactly. Yeah. We're just trying like proactively trying to figure out what the problems are and then solve those problems like ahead of the curve so that the people that are doing the work downstream have enough time to do it. Right. And just knowing how long things take and that sort of thing. Okay. Well, that's cool. So this is a very interesting episode because even though it's not some about some badass print, it's really about a badass workflow. And thanks for sharing uh, the best t-shirt you ever printed, Mike. No problem. Thank you, Marshall.